just a brief demo of the Torcut 22. I've never really run the machine any programs. Um, homed it, home spine. I've jogged it, uh, all three axes. I can run the spindle up and down. It does have the uh, transmission in it, and it's uh, 7,500 RPM. The thing about the transmission is you got to warm up that spindle before you uh, uh, start using the machine so that it shifts properly. Uh, I believe under 2,000 RPM it shifts into low gear. So uh, let me demonstrate the machine running. Bridgeport torque cuts just have noisy spindles, especially when they have the transmission option. I'm just going to go all the way up through the range of uh, spindle speeds first, then we'll shut it down, then we'll move the axis. That's 2000. Yes, first. Ah. 
machine is set up for BT40, but you look here on the top, I've got a brand new carousel full of uh, Cat 40 fingers. Uh, and it just so happens that the uh, spindle nose uses the same um, bull studs as Haas. So uh, it wouldn't be much to switch it over to Cat 40 if you wanted to. Um, so that's, that's a look at the machine running. Um, I'll, uh, I'll shut it down, take you back to the cabin. It's been unmolested. Nobody's messed with it. It's still pretty clean. So let me shut it down. We'll go back there. It's a pretty tight quarter, so I'm going to go handheld. Here's a quick look on the inside of the cabinet. Spindle, carousel, it's pretty dark. Um, the plastic on the doors needs to be replaced. That one's missing altogether. I have the handle and that one's cracked. Um, the door's not terrible, but it's been uh, broken right there. The door over interlock has been, been defeated. Here's a look from the, uh, the left side of the machine. I also have the new uh, Z-axis way cover, and I have new seals for the Teleflex um, telescopic uh, cover on the Y. I'm gonna go ahead and shut her down. Uh, it does have a coolant pump. It's a uh, single phase. And then here's the inside of the cabinet. Uh, it is running, this, this Yaskawa spindle drive will run single phase, and it is currently running single phase in my shop. Um, you'll see I've got a jumper uh, over there so it'll run single phase. So it's a 220 single phase. Uh, I have it on a 30 amp circuit. This will run in a shop. It uses a standard uh, Windows, I'm sorry, it uses a standard PC. Um, there's the PC right there. Uh, hard disk is down in there. Um, Let's see what else. There's the, the drives. Um, again, nothing, it's not been molested. Nobody's hacked away at it, so it's still pretty clean. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Let's see, I wanted to see, see if I could find a tag when it said it was built. I think it was built in 96. Yeah, I don't see the sticker that says it's born on date. It's got a lube pump and so forth. And there's a look from the uh, right side of the machine. Um, that air you hear, it's a feature in this machine. It's got air through the spindle, so air is blowing through the spindle um, to keep coolant and contaminants out of the spindle. That's just the way these machines came. So, uh, console works fine. Uh, Standard VGA monitor, the original monitor still works, keyboard still works, original keyboard, all its keycaps are there, operator's console is still there. Um, I think she's still got some life left in it, otherwise, uh, regretfully, I'm going to tear it apart and part it out, but uh, hopefully I'll, there's somebody that will want the machine and uh, maybe tinker around with it in their garage shop. Um, Alright, thanks for watching.